Anyway, the brother from Detroit says that food system is the only system that we as black people can take over and own it from the bottom to the top. We can grow the food. We can transport the food. We can process the food. We can sell the food. We can cook the food. The food industry is that is something that we can take over if we decide to. If we just go back to doing what we used to do, cooking from scratch, getting raw product and cooking it, and the farmers producing it, the gardens producing it, we can control our food system and provide jobs and employment for our young people as well as get good, healthy food instead of the poison that we're getting from the white man's kitchen in his stores and his fast food restaurants getting nothing but straight up poison and if you look up there's no excuse today to look up these ingredients they're on the internet they're available to you so the white man is telling you he's killing you and he said well they're doing it on their own so you can't get me i'm telling them what's in it but they act like they don't believe it so it ain't my fault so we must come up out of this slumber this stupor because god ain't stupid you in a stupor faking that you sleep. God ain't playing with you no more. Mr. Farrakhan said, we're receiving now the chastisement from Allah. From the, in the black community, for us turning our back on the program of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And we chose integration instead of separation. And now we are suffering the consequences of that bad decision. So, we here at Muhammad Farms, we said, well, we got to reduce um, some farmers. And Sister Betsy Jean Farrakhan is going to have July, sorry, July 25th. She's going to have a session up at, um, at the farm in Michigan, a training session to train new farmers. And so we're doing our piece down here uh, at Muhammad Farms with Princeton and putting them out there and so they can see what it's like. And they're also studying from my book. Um, uh, the science and business of farming versus the art and the hobby of gardening uh, as we also doing this work. So, um, at this time, um, are there any calls, Sister? Uh, I'm going to bring in my guests. Is there, is there any, any, any questions from anybody yet? Well, uh, yes, I have two. It looks like uh, two questions. Okay, let's see. And, um, I don't see. Okay, so uh, the call is last four numbers here are three one three two three one three two your last name i mean your first name please oh uh, uh, I'm from Alexa, brother, this is brother Gleefer. i didn't have uh, any questions i guess you, i must have hit the button by accident oh okay, oh. <laughs> okay. all right all right, so the other I one? Will, all right i'll put you on hold Okay, and the uh, next call is last four numbers are 4306. Your first name, please. Calling no, ma'am, I don't have a question. Oh, you don't have a question? Okay. No, ma'am, I'm, I'm a part of the apprentice program. Oh, okay. Who's this? Okay. Who's this? Who's this? Oh, this is uh, Brother, Brother Cameron. Cameron. Brother Jay Cameron. Yes, okay. Right. All right, Brother, uh, Brother Jay Cameron. It's on. Is uh, Brother Sh uh, Shakir, are you on? Uh, no, I don't have those other numbers in the studio you right now. You don't have another? Is, 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 is uh, brother, brother Jay, is the other two brothers yes, on? Huh? Yes, sir, they are. All right, what numbers uh, are, are they calling from? What's the area code? It should be a 404. It says it's a, it's a, sorry, you have a 404? I have been 704. So what now? 704 and 615. Those are the area codes. Oh, okay. 704, 704 and 615. And 615. Okay. Let me just... Yeah. 704, 615. Let me scroll until I find them. Okay. While you're finding those two, uh, Brother Jay, um, so tell us, uh, where you're from and why did you come into the, um, the apprenticeship program? And, you know, what have you gotten out of it so far? So 
tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, and why did you come into the program? Uh, well, for one, I'm from Memphis, Tennessee, and uh, that's Muhammad Mark 55. And what made me come to the apprenticeship program is that uh, while I was in the seventh grade, I'm 18 years old now, I just finished high school, and that while I was in the seventh grade, I heard one of the ministers speak. And in one in the speech, he was talking about that we need land and that we need to start back farming. Farming is the engine of life. And so my family owns 100 acres of land in Coldwater, Mississippi. And I wanted to be a good, you know, servant towards a lot in this cause that we have right now. And so I said that, well, I, I have the land. I just need the knowledge. And I see now that Dr. Ridge is a man that we need to be looking at. So, so what have you? Uh, and so, what have you learned so far? Uh, well, right now, what I've learned is um, is how they actually, you know, kill the desire farmers to actually farm, for well, not just black farmers, but all farmers. Because now, the 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 the, the, the income of farming is in the negative. The income for farming is in the negative. And so that would not entice anyone to start farming. And so, what 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 experience have you had in terms of, of working? What other type what type of things have you done in terms of the working since you've been here? Oh, Doctor Ridley has taught us how to. He taught us how to clean wheat and turn wheat into flour. And he taught us how to drive tractors. He taught us how to operate that. And we went out selling selling watermelons today. And he taught us how to uh, harvest the watermelon, the corn, the squashes. And um, it, it's just been a wonderful experience. And I'm glad that I actually came. And this is something that all young believers should start attending. Because we should start looking for no kind of mystery God to do for us. Well, we can do for ourselves. Because there is no God outside of ourselves unless there be one that is superior than us. Okay, well, well said, uh, uh, brother Jay. Are the other two, uh, sister Anasara? Do you have the other two brothers on yet? Sister Anasara. Okay, uh, let me, are the two brothers on yet, brother uh, uh, T- Timothy and brother Shakir? Are y'all on? Brother Timothy and brother Shakir. What well, brother, uh, brother Jay? Uh, I saw him making a Uh I took the Jay Cameron's phone because my phone, uh, I can hear everything, but it, it, uh, I must not press the buttons right. But I, I'm on oh, right okay. now. Here's brother okay, Timothy. Okay, well, uh, but this is Brother Timothy. So where are you from, Brother Timothy, and why did you come to the program? I'm from Nashville, Tennessee, but I'm coming out of Atlanta, March number 15. And the program, um, the apprenticeship program was actually... Uh, brought up by the minister at 60 and then I talked to uh, Minister Rockman when I got back to 15 at uh, Jumar Prayer and that's when I decided that I was going to do the program because outside of Tennessee I have a mother that has land she doesn't have as much land as you have but she has a little bit of land and that's where I can uh, do my experimentation uh, I guess afterwards uh, on vacation uh, but I think this is a great program sir I've learned a lot. So, so what have you learned? I've learned the big, like, I learned things like how you have to network. Like, you know, earlier today, when I when I met that guy, this, uh, this guy, uh, Mr. Lewis, he, uh, he saw something in me, and that's why he told us to uh, go to the son's store. And, like, everybody else made a lot of sales, but I think I'm better at the marketing side. But the things I've been learning is, like, we learn how to do the flower and everything, but the thing I've learned is that man, farming is, is, is harder work. Like you see stuff on on the on the aisle, you don't know. You just I just I'm just looking for a deal. But it's just like like you said in your book, you know, basically what you're doing is the exact opposite of what the devil did. The devil did. He came out to the country. I think a lot. My, I found out on my way up here 
that my family was in the farming before. Like my granddad was a civil engineer, uh, civil engineer, and he had a company, but they started out on the farm. And he, I don't even know why, it, why it's not spoken of. But I, he told me about the engineering and everything, but my daddy told me while I was on the way up here. But uh, basically, what they did was they took people out of the farm and brought them into the city just to fool them. You know, it's a catch twenty two. Like, yeah, you coming out to the city, but you don't. You what? Okay, my granddad was a civil engineer, engineer and had an engineering company, but I don't have one because it's it's all a game. You know, you see the farm. What I'm learning with you is the farm ain't no game. Like you said, like, when it rains, it's going to rain. There's nothing you can do about that. You know, like, uh, if something happens to the watermelon, uh, they have, like, a, you know, you don't do the, the land right and the uh, mold and all that. Like, farming is something that, it's an engine, like the Minister Farcon kind of said. And if you don't keep up your well, engine, it'll go bad. So, well, like, you know, the mold, the mold, let me explain something to you. The mold that's on the watermelon. It's not because we didn't do the land right. It's because we didn't spray it right. In other words, we're in a dilemma. Uh, and the dilemma is that the people say they want organic. But when they see a spot, they don't want it. Now, there's a way to, 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 to stop the spot. It's, it's to spray the chemicals. If you spray enough chemicals on the watermelon, then they won't have the spot. But people say they don't want me to spray. But then they complain when they see the mold or the other spots. So it's not because we don't know what we're doing. It's because we're dealing with crazy-ass people who are asking you to not use chemicals. And then when they see a spot, they don't want the damn product. Okay. Um, Brother Shakir. Is Brother Shakir on? Yes, sir. So, 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 brother Shakir, uh, tell me where you from, and uh, why did you come uh, uh, to the program? Yes, sir. Uh, I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina, on hot month number thirty-six. Um, the reason why I came down to um, the apprenticeship program this time around is because I wanted to be a livestock farmer. I had been a um, volunteer in my dairy farm in Houston, Texas. So. Um, what I was looking for in the apprenticeship program was um, a way that I can um, be able to set up a farm and be able to basically gain the knowledge to be able to do that, which I do thank Dr. Richie and Sister Ann, because down from so far with my experience down here, I do have, I have a whole lot more knowledge than I did before when I first started, um, when I first started working down here. Well, do you, do you, do you, I thought all this hard work and reading this stuff in my book and the tough, the tough economic conditions that the farmer is facing, um, you still want to farm? Of course I do. I expected, no, that's what I expected the hard work coming into it. I expected the hard work coming in um, working on, from working on the dairy farm. But what I did not expect after reading through this, um, your book was all the, um, uh, ways the government tried to stop black farmers from being able to farm. And after I saw how hard it was, I actually had to go back and question myself, do I still want to do this? <laughs> and the answer is yes, I still want to do this because I have a dream that I want to see completed. Hmm. Hmm. And it sounds like you, you, you're not just dreaming. You, are, you have a, it sounds like you have some serious fortitude uh, <laughs> and testiculars. Like Mr. Farrar kind of said, you can't get your testicular fortitude from the uh, um, uh, from Walmart, but uh, you seem to, uh, to to have that, and I think that what the experience we hope that it, it produces, and, and the reading, and the work, and the study, is to understand that we are at war, and we as farmers, we are actually on the front line of trying to save our people and the rest of humanity, because we are trying to do it the right way, the best we can to provide some good food when, in fact, the enemy is killing the people with the food. And we, as black farmers in particular, it's hard for me to get the black farmers to even to understand what's going on, that, in fact, we're at war, and we just happen to be yes, in sir. a tank that they want to blow up, and that tank is farming because they want to blow that up. They want to put that in the hand of just the corporate world, 
so they can feed people who they want to feed and poison people who they want to poison. Yes, sir. And here we are. We are determined that we're going to do something different. Somebody want to say something? I thought I heard somebody. I mean, feel I said, yes, free. sir. Let's break in. Go ahead. I'm done, sir. What is, do you have something to say, sir? No, sir. Okay. Uh, so the end of the is there any uh, anybody calling in? Um. <laughs> yes, we do have some callers. Um, I have a little confusion between Brother Cameron's uh, number, the number that he's using, and the phone number for the friend. Um, if I can get that cleared up, I'll be able to tell the difference between the guests and the other callers. But uh, while we're waiting, um, we'll pick up this call. The last four numbers are 3132. That sounds familiar. I wonder if this is um, caller. No, you already asked about that They didn't have a question. Oh, okay. They you do all okay. this research all right. on the perfect car. On hold and move down to the next number, 4689. 4689, you're on the air. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Oh, yes, sir. Praise to Allah. I am thanking Allah on my hands and knees every day for Dr. Wrigley and these good old natural products, the whole wheat bread and the, the muffins. And, you know, I'm in heaven while I live, and I, I uh, want to encourage all the listeners here to do the same thing. Get back in our kitchen, please. And let's quit running to the white man for everything that he is killing us with. And Dr. Wrigley, you, are you going to have a uh, have something at your farm on the 4th again this year? Yes. Uh, you go to NOIMOA.com, you will see okay. the uh, Founders Day uh, starting okay. um, yeah, July 3rd to the 5th, um, Friday, okay. Saturday, and Sunday. And the program uh, schedule is on NOIMOA.com. Yes, ma'am. Okay, well, I was going to ask you, is there a way that I can give you a message that I didn't want to leave on the radio? Can I leave it on your website? Well, you can, you can call me up. i give you my phone number. You can call me. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, 229 995 6619. Okay, 229 okay. Wait a minute, 995. Uh huh. Six six one nine. Six six one nine. All right, sir. Thank okay, you. or you can you you can send it to my my email address. Um, okay. Doctor Ridge. D R R I D G E. At. D R R I D G E at n o i m o a dot com. N o i m o a dot com. The Nation of Islam Ministry of Agriculture. Dr. Ridge at NOIMOA.com. How are you doing? Thank right. you very much. Um, well, sister, before you go, will you tell yes, me ma'am. I'm trying to um, identify all of the lines that I have open, and there's a, just a tad bit of confusion. What are your last four numbers again? 4689? It's 4689. 4539? No, 4689. 4689. Okay, got it. How are you doing? All, All right. right. Thank you. So easy. Tell me, how is your life as a youngster? We're sitting here with Easy E. Believe that. How are you doing? All right. So easy. Tell me, how is your life as a youngster? <laughs> 